Hello, this is Dania Nambia and this video is specifically for those of you out there who are struggling with cigarette addiction, chronic smokers, even social smokers. Hopefully this video will be beneficial to you. So I'm not going to address the whole slew of other things um, that add to an addiction to smoking, but I would like to specifically talk about one of the emotional traits that are quite dominant in cigarette smokers. And this trait is repressed rage or anger. Most chronic smokers have a really difficult time expressing themselves, especially when they are angry. So they tend to actually stuff or suppress the emotion and the cigarette smoking and inhaling all that, that, that rage, that fire and internalizing it is the way they have um, unfortunately chosen to cope with this emotional burden. So the solution for it really is to find healthy ways of being able to express themselves. So let's look at the ritual of smoking. And I'm gonna give you a small quick hack as to how you could try to play an experiment in reducing the amount of times that you have to go out for a cigarette break or a cigarette um, uh, smoke. So breathing is one of the main reasons whether they're aware of it or not that chronic smokers actually go and have a cigarette so when you're going out um, to have your cigarette what you're doing really is you're taking a deep breath in and out now I'm not even smoking a cigarette, but I feel immediately relieved, right? Because what is it that I'm doing in this moment? I'm basically putting all my attention, focusing it on taking a deep breath in and then just releasing. Now, scientifically proven, if you take five deep inhalations and exhalations, you will move your nervous system from a fight or flight response, which is your sympathetic nervous system, into parasympathetic nervous system response, which is homeostasis, finding a way to actually regulate your body, which is what you're trying to do when you go for a smoke. You're just trying to regulate your emotions and breathing is key for that. So this little hack is something you might laugh at, but it's tried and tested. And the first time I actually saw this being done was actually my own father. He was a chronic smoker. He used to smoke uh, Benson and Hedges. For those of you guys out there who are like old school, you know what it is, like gold packs, um, really hardcore cigarettes. And he used to smoke those by the cartons. And it, until he got to a point where he got so sick and he was just coughing up um, dark black phlegm and he had to stop. So my father actually did it overnight cold turkey just like that. How did he do it? He started to practice a ritual of smoking but without the cigarettes. So as a kid I would literally watch my father light up his fake cigarette, breathe, exhale, he'd even flick the cigarette you know when we were driving in the car, he'd roll down the window, he put his hand out as if he was holding the cigarette and even flick it up there. And using this method, he actually was able to stop cold turkey. Now, I'm not gonna say that this is going to be possible for everyone out there. Of course, there's so many other um, aspects that are involved in uh, actually quitting an addiction, but the ritual is a very, very important part of the addiction and you combine the ritual, which is the physical act of you uh, doing what you're doing, taking the time out to focus on yourself. That's a huge part of that ritual. And then also focusing on your breath, taking deep breaths in and out. These are crucial elements of what a uh, cigarette smoker really benefits from. So this is my quick hack for you and my prayer is that you actually give it a try and see how it works out for you. It's perfect. You can do it anywhere, anytime, 
and not inconvenience anyone. It's so good. You can do it in the office, in the bathroom. You can do it around your children. Easy peasy. <laughs> Enjoy playing around. Bye.